guys, today we are going to learn about conjunctions, okay? And conjunctions connect words, phrases, and sentences. So a lot of the times we have more than one sentence and we can combine them using conjunctions and it can be one sentence instead of a bunch of different sentences. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn about today. Um, here are some of the commonly used conjunctions that we are going to be talking about today. Um, some of them are and, but, or, so, and because. And we use each one of these for different reasons and that's what we're gonna be looking at today too. So, um, conjunctions, why do we need conjunctions? What are conjunctions? Um, why do we use them? Conjunctions are used to give more information by combining two sentences, okay? So, really, conjunctions just help us to combine more information into two sen or from two sentences and make it into one sentence instead of two sentences, okay? So we're just really combining these sentences so that it's one instead of two. Okay, and now we're going to practice a few um, with different conjunctions in different sentences, okay? So first we have our and. So and is one of our first conjunctions. We use and to connect words and sentences. Okay, so this is um, when we're, we're connecting two sentences together. For example, we have these two sentences here. I like chocolate. I like bananas. Okay, we can say both of those two sentences separately, but we can also combine those sentences using and. And how we, how we would do that is um, by saying, I like chocolate and bananas. See how we have one sentence here, but the same information from those two sentences are above are in that um, this combined sentence, okay? So I like chocolate, we got that first sentence, and we can use that conjunction, bananas, okay? We don't have to say I like again because we have that at the beginning of our sentence. We're just combining these two sentences to make one sentence, and we're putting that, con we're using that conjunction to help us do that. Okay, so let's try to do this one together. We have two sentences, my brother plays violin. And we also have my brother sings. Okay, so how can we combine these two sentences? We have to make sure it says the same thing and we can use the word and. How can we combine these two sentences to make one sentence? My brother plays violin and sings. Okay, so we have our first sentence, my brother plays violin, and then instead of putting a period at the end, we put and sings. Okay, so we don't have to, again, we don't have to put my brother again. We don't have to say my brother plays violin my and my brother sings. We can if we want, but this is just a way to do it um, to make the sentence a little bit shorter because we don't have to repeat ourselves. So our sentence would be my brother plays violin and sings. It's saying the same thing, just a little bit differently. Okay, this is another conjunction that we have, the word but. And we use but to show contrast between two things. Okay, so these sentences are going to be a little bit different. For example, in our last sentence, or in our last few sentences, whenever we use the conjunction and, we had two sentences that were sort of alike. So, I like apples, I like bananas, right? We liked both of those. Um, they were similar. So we could combine them into one sentence by saying, I like these two things, like this and this. This is gonna be just a little bit different, okay? We're still combining our two sentences. So we have these two sentences, I like oranges, I don't like strawberries. See how it's a little bit different? So we can't say I like oranges and strawberries because we don't like strawberries. We have to put that don't in there. So um, we're using the word but, the conjunction but. I like oranges, but I don't like strawberries, okay? The but lets us contrast the two sentences. I like oranges, but I do not like strawberries. Okay, 
Again, it's saying the same thing. We're combining it into one sentence. And but is our conjunction. Let's try it again using the same conjunction. My sister can ride a bike. My sister cannot drive. Okay? So she can ride a bike, but she cannot drive. And I just told you the answer too. So um, if we combine these two sentences together, we need to use the word but because it's contrasting. And our sentence would then be, my sister can ride a bike, but she cannot drive. Okay. So now we have our conjunction or. We use or to introduce an alternative. So here we kind of have a choice between two things. Okay, and we'll you'll see this as we go through it. So it's introducing an alternative, which just means that we have a choice. So if we ask, would you like tea? Would you like coffee? Those are our two sentences. Would you like tea? Would you like coffee? Okay, so how can we say that in one sentence? By using that conjunction or. Okay, so we have would you like tea or coffee? See how we used or to give us a choice? And we have it all in one sentence then. Would you like tea or coffee? Okay, let's try another one. We can go to the zoo Saturday afternoon. We can go to the zoo Sunday morning. So you have two choices. So how could we combine these two sentences to make one sentence and use that conjunction or? Because we are giving alternatives. We're giving choices of what we want to do. So we could make it. We can go to the zoo Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning. Okay, we have to use that or word because if we use the word and, let's read it if we use the word and, we can go to the zoo Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. Is that what those two sentences above are saying? No, we have to have a choice. We have to make a choice. We can't go both times. We have to make a choice of when we can go. So we have to use that or to show that we have that choice. We have to make a choice. Okay, and... It's showing us the two alternatives that we have. Okay, and then we also have so as being a conjunction. And this is to express a result. Okay, our two sentences. I studied hard. I passed the test. We need to use the word so in our sentence. So we need to combine this into one sentence because that's what a conjunction does. So how could we say this and put it into one sentence using the word so? I studied hard, so I passed the test. Okay, I studied hard, so I passed the test. Basically, because I studied hard, I passed the test. So it's showing, I'm going to go back. Oops. So as to express that result. So um, I studied hard, so the result was that they passed the test. Okay, let's try another one. We skipped to this one already, so. Um, our two sentences, she was very tired. She went to bed early. So how could we make this into one sentence? Remember, our conjunction that we're using is so. So what happened and then what was the result? She was very tired, so she went to bed early. Because she was very tired, um, the result was she went to bed early. And we also have the conjunction because. Now, because is to express a reason for something. So let's go ahead and read some of our sentences and see if we can use because as our conjunction in here. He played football in the rain. He was sick. So what could our um, 
um, our one sentence be? How could we combine these sentences? And actually, these two are switched, so we would put, he was sick because he played football in the rain. Now remember, because is to express a reason for something. So the reason he was sick was because, and I didn't underline that one, because is our conjunction, because he played football in the rain. That was the reason he was sick. Sorry, I keep going back to that. I want you guys to see that. So he played football in the rain. He was sick. We combined our two sentences. They're still saying the same thing. We're just using that because to make it one sentence. Okay, here's another one. I passed the test. I studied hard. So what was the result? I passed the test because I studied hard. So the result was that the person passed the test. And the reason was because they studied hard. That because gives us the reason. I passed the test because I studied hard. Okay, and that is it for conjunctions. Um, I have a little video on the next slide for you. We practiced a few this time. Um, but I have some on the, I have a video on the next slide for you, just kind of like a fun video. And then we're going to be working with these all throughout the week, okay? So we'll have plenty of time to start, um, to practice these, okay? So go ahead and watch that next video and then you can, um, continue on with the slide presentation.